What up, you Timmy here. Now, while this year was a pretty cool year for uh, M. Night Shyamalan, you know, of course, uh, his daughter, you know, one of his daughter, of course, uh, directed The Watchers, which also was produced by M. Night. Uh, he recently directed Trap, which I enjoyed more than most people did. But looks like he has another film uh, coming, which he didn't direct, only produced, uh, titled Kato Lake. And looks like, unlike The Watchers and Trap, this one ain't going to theirs, but instead of streaming. Uh, this, this of course, uh, comes from Hollywood Park saying that Kato Lake from producer M. Night Shyamalan and director Celine um, Held and Logan George uh, will be uh, releasing on Max on October 10th. Now, they also dropped like a little trailer, which didn't really reveal too much. More like a little tease, if you will. Uh, but the film is set to arrive on October 10th. And stars Dylan O'Brien, which, by the way, if you're a fan of Dylan O'Brien, uh, of course, from Maze Runner fame, he also has that Saturday Night uh, Live film where he plays Dan Aykroyd, so kind of a double dose of Dylan O'Brien that week. Uh, he'll, he also stars in the film alongside Eliza Scanlon, Diana Hopper, Caroline Alfo, uh Sam Hennings, Eric Lang, and Lauren Ambrose. Uh, in Cotter Lake, formerly... Um, known as the Vanishing at Cotterlake, is set around an eight-year-old uh, girl mis uh, mysteriously vanishing and a series of past uh, deaths and disappearances starting to uh, link together for forever altering a uh, broken family's history. Uh, family's history. Sounds like be intriguing here. Uh, Dylan O'Brien, I think, is always a terrific actor. This point is not going to theirs, but... The, of course, this is actually not the only uh, Max horror film coming out in that month because also there is uh, the Salem's Lot remake. So, uh, so there's that too. Uh, I don't know, maybe this could be interesting. Uh, of course, obviously, M. Night Shyamalan is not a director on this, mostly a producer, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a twist somehow because, you know, M. Night Shyamalan movies usually always have twists, maybe except for the recent trap, but, you know, still. So. Uh, anyway, let me let you guys, what are your thoughts on uh, Kato Lake set to, uh, pretty much set to premiere on Max in October? Do you like the premiere date? Or do you like the idea for going to Max? You know, do you like the sound of it? And are you a fan of Dylan O'Brien or uh, M. Night Shyamalan? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. This is Hero